Here we are in Hartwick Pines near Grayling, Michigan. This is an old growth forest. Lots of the really big trees you see behind me are white pine and eastern hemlock that are three to four hundred years old. Now, I usually talk about geology, and there's a whole lot of geology that you can learn from this beautiful forest behind me. First of all, this, the sediment around here that the forest is growing in is very sandy. It was deposited by the glaciers as they retreated at the end of the Pleistocene Ice Age. And these kinds of trees love sandy soil. But the thing about sandy soil is uh, it doesn't have a whole lot of nutrients, and all the nutrients are focused in the upper layers of the soil. So if you walk through this forest, you're going to see that lots of the trees have root systems that spread out in the top layer of the soil and don't go very deep. Now there's another neat thing that you'll notice in old growth forests, and this is to show you, Dr. Bruce Harrison, that I actually remember things from your soils class many, many years ago, and that is something called pit and mound soil development. So because these trees have these shallow soils, windstorms can topple them over. And when they get toppled over, the roots pull up and, and excavate this pit that we see here. And then where the tree has fallen, that's a mound. And in the pit, you get extra water accumulating, so you might get a little more leaching. And in the mound, you're going to have extra organic material. So as a result of this, you get, first of all, a kind of lumpy topography in the old growth forest floor. And then you also get very complex soils of these uh, pit and mound, this extra organic material, and then the extra leaching that happens there. And so within this beautiful forest, enjoy the trees, enjoy the geology, enjoy the wildlife, because there's so much to see in a forest like this one.